Now, I've been using this card since version 42 came out, and that is Growth Totem. To be honest, yeah, I didn't really feel like it, it was overly great, hence the reason why they probably buffed it. They buffed it here in version 42.3, so what does the math have to say? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide. I am Siphon, where we're delving into the math behind Growth Totem. What is this card? It's a 4,500 gold cost growth card. Simply get 4,500 4, gold, you can equip this card, costs no attribute points. The cool thing about it is that there's the grow passive effect. You grant 1 power and 20 maximum health every minute, so as long as... You know, time goes by with Grow Totem on, you gain 1 power, 20 maximum health. Just a reminder, remember here in version f post 42, power is really effective. Uh, it scales really well from everybody, It's and it goes a long, long way, much farther than in previous. Now, 20 maximum health, that's, that's pretty good. Armor is almost higher, I would say, especially basic armor. Ability armor, not so much. It's more about max health, so that goes a long way as well. Now, the the really cool part about Growth Totem here is that it has a cultivate effect. 500 gold reduction in price per attribute point purchased. The more attribute points you purchased at any time reduces the cost of cultivate cards to potentially zero. So there reaches a point when you're when you're purchasing attribute points where Growth Totem is free now what is that free point 4500 gold cost divided by 500 equals a free card free growth totem at nine attribute points or 9000 gold so as by the time you can farm 9000 gold assuming you're not spending it on anything else perhaps you can get a free growth totem it's free put it on starts growing look at that nice and free now the math here is pretty simple Time equipped versus power versus health. So this column here is time, this is power, and this is health. Really quite simple. 10 minutes, 10 power, 200 health. 15 minutes, 15 power, 300 health. 20 minutes, 20 power, 40 health, etc., etc. Now you might look right off the bat and kind of in your experience with version 42 and what kind of stats cards give you. Well, you can see that 10 power, 200 health, that's pretty darn good. That's like a five, six, seven, eight attribute point cost card about there. Remember, they give you really cool passives and actives and the value of that's really hard to calculate uh, as a lot of them are so situational. 15 to 20 minutes, that's a pretty high cost card. 20 power, 400 health, that is easily a thir 12, 13 attribute point card after 20 minutes of having growth totem on yeah there's no passive or active but i mean for just a free card that you can potentially get at some point and grow into there are some considerations here also just take a look at this if you happen to be in like a 40 minute game or 30 minutes and up and you get growth totem early look at this 30 power at 600 health that's not bad 600 health 30 power with some casters i mean if you're gonna do you know like maybe a like aurora has really good hit hard hitting abilities oh boy her ultimate here her abilities with 30 power hey now at this point we have to compare growth totem to other cards yes i did just say that there were some some attribute points with uh with some power and stats earlier but really we got to take a look now, what this is, is we are comparing certain cards here with power and HP and the time needed. So this is time needed, how many minutes, These this is minutes for Growth Totem to need to get the same amount of power that you can get on these cards. This is how much time uh, you, you need for the health to, 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 to be similar to what the cards give you. So, for example, we have Pack Leader here. We go Growth, uh, Knowledge. Uh, we have Order here. We have Death and then uh, Chaos cards. 
you can see as you go down, like pack leader is a three attribute point cost, eight power, so growth tone means eight minutes to, to reach that, but it doesn't give you health, the pack leader doesn't give you health, so it's growth totem. I mean, pack leader does have a very cool active, and for some of these, you guys can pause the video right now, uh, hopefully you can see it with the nice new 1080p recording quality, yay! Uh, <laughs> you guys can hopefully see that, pause the video and kind of see what, uh, see the numbers. Guess stop and look for yourself. For some of these actives and passives, I, I, I did some assumptions with some of them. With some of them, I didn't. So, for example, one of the tribe here gave, gave 15 power for each nearby ally. Well, I assumed you had three allies nearby, so 45 power plus the 22 power that's on it. I, I was like, growth totem, oh boy, you need like 67 minutes to get 67 power. I mean, but you probably would want more because of ability, like, so there's a lot of assumptions. If I say plus, like five plus, that means at least that plus more, like you probably need more time. If I go about that, I'm just kind of with my pretty good understanding with how the math works behind everything. I'm saying about that time and or plus or more time. So for example, Sacred Alchemy here, uh, 18 power, 20 attack speed, 240 HP. I, I, I kind of did rough math here and I was like, that's about 23 minutes for Growth Stone to get the 23 power, which is kind of like those attack, th th those, those attack attributes. And then I was like, throw the HP, well, I mean, 240 HP is that, that's just 12 minutes, but then there's the there's the shields, right? So it's like you're it's much more than that, plus plus plus. So just kind of follow along, and you can see that plus just means at least that much time and more, or plus plus plus, like probably much more time than that, to be honest with you. And that's this is how I kind of came up with the oh okay, you know, seven to nine, seven to eight cost cards are about 10 to 15 minutes for growth totem to grow into and then the higher cost cards about 18 plus minutes to kind of grow at, into a similar p card again some of them i'm not including the passive or the active and obviously using that at the right time gives you tra tremendous value or maybe misusing it doesn't really give you much value now what are some statements we can make uh, some findings that that the math kind of shows us well, three to eight attribute point cost cards take about 10 or less to about 15 minutes to grow. So growth totem, you give it some time and it will grow into, into, into basically some of the other cards, obviously without those actives or passives. So it takes about 10 to 15 minutes about there to grow a three to eight cost card. Not bad. 10 to 13 attribute point cost cards, very heavy hitting late game cards, take about 18 to 20 minutes and obviously plus some cards, tremendous value. A lot of the death cards have tremendous value and growth totem, it just takes a long time. So for example, like Vampiric Blade and like Swamp Stalker, especially if you include that passive, like basically growth totem can't match it. It takes quite a bit of time. So that's why it's 20 minutes plus time to grow. Now, it takes 10 to 14 minutes to get nine attribute points. I looked in, 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 in a lot of my matches and some master level matches, and it takes about 10 to 14 minutes to get nine attribute points. So around the 10 to 14 minute mark, you can get a free growth totem. Now one could buy growth totem though, at, with, like, with gold, because in, instead of just waiting, you can just buy it with gold at about the six to eight minute mark, putting one, two to eight power and put, which would mean, sorry, it would put you about two to eight power and 40 to 160 health ahead of if you were to go do it for free. So on one hand, you could wait 10 to 14 minutes or around the 10 to 14 minute mark in the game to get it for free, or you could actually spend gold that you get, which remember you can only get so much gold so fast, around the six to eight minute mark, you could buy Growth Totem and you'd be about two to eight or 40 to 160 health ahead of somebody that went for the free Growth Totem. So there is an implication there. And finally, what are some pretty good conclusions we can come up with this? Now, basically a three to eight attribute point cost card 
could be grown through growth totem and through time around the 20 to 29 minute mark or the 16 to 23 minute mark if you buy growth totem so the first number is here the first number is if you are waiting for it to be free or the second set of numbers is just if you buy it early hey three to eight attribute point cost card around the 20 29 minute mark or 16 to 23 minute mark interesting you can also though grow an, a 10 to 13 attribute point cost card around the 28 to 35 minute mark or if you buy growth totem around the 24 to 28 minute mark hey not bad now if well done one could grow a free kind of free card by the late ma late mid game slash the late game while allocating attribute points towards other bigger cards so if there's one say very important impactful late game card growth totem could allow you to get that card earlier than you otherwise would have because growth totem is basically free at some point and you could get that er that that later that late game big heavy attribute point cost card earlier because you don't ha you're not putting any attribute points into the other card it's a consideration also synergized with cursed cards that you can't unequip you equip them and they're there forever growth totem could provide some late game value while the cursed cards deal with the early game cursed cards tremendous value in the early game that you could snowball crazy ton off of and then you put growth totem on because you know you'll be at some point you'll just be free you put that on and because you have to just wait you can't unequip cursed cards Growth Totem will just grow and grow and grow until you basically get a 10, 13 attribute points cost card. Yeah, without the passive and active around the, you know, around the, around the late game, exactly when you need it. So guys, there you go. What do you think about these conclusions? What do you think of the capacity to grow in about a seven or eight attribute point cost card around the 20, 25, 29 minute mark? Is that good? That, that is that is the late the the late mid game about the mid game, and you can get basically almost a free card while going for a big heavy hitting card early. You can get it because you're not at, you're not using attribute points t to this other card growth totem. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about a ten to thirteen attribute points cost card? Getting that, growing that around the 28 the 35 minute mark basically the basically the late game what do you guys think is this is this better than before um is it something you you're, you're interested in what do you think about the curse cards synergizing growth totem with the curse cards are you going to use it are you going to combine this with something like tyrant in the jungle what are you guys going to do do you think it's worth it what scenarios do you think you would use Growth totem, growth totem as. Guys, subscribe. You guys like this content, especially if you found it useful. Please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. If you'd like to support me on a regular basis, please head on over to my Patreon account where you can make a pledge to help me do what I love. Till next time, like always, guys. Stay optimistic and positive.